Good morning, all. Praise the Lord. And we are sure 
and we know for sure that the peace of God is with us. Our God is in control. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Can I please go to, can someone put, um, Praise the Lord. Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7. Philippians 4, 6 to 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Peace of God is... Present your request to God. Praise the Lord, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guide your hearts and your minds. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is what I just said. Like, if we just see what is happening every day, every minute, every second, every hour in this world, we will just be like, we'll be frustrated. If not for God, we will all be frustrated. If you open the telly, you see things that will scare you. If you read the, read the newspaper, you see things that will scare you. TikTok is even the worst. Facebook, another terror. <coughs> it's just because of the peace of God that is within us that we are still existing. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So what is peace? Peace is having assurance, confidence, trust, and trust in the in the and trust in God in times of conflict, in times of war, in times of rejection, in times of disappointment, and in times of distresses. When you have peace, you will overcome all these things that I've mentioned. When you have assurance in God, put your trust in God. When you have put when you put your trust in God, you will have peace. Praise the Lord. The peace of God does not come physically. No. You must have the Spirit of God in you to have the peace of God. Praise the Lord. Peace is an harmony between humanity and all God's creation. Peace is an, an harmony between us. Everything that God has created is peace that is keeping us. Praise the Lord. Peace is something you cannot obtain physically, like I said. That will take us to Galatians. Praise the Lord. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. What do we do to obtain the peace of God? Since we cannot obtain it physically, or we cannot buy it. Peace of God cannot be bought, no. You cannot grab God to get his peace. There are certain things you have to do to get the peace, to have the peace of God in you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. But the fruits of the Spirit is love. Joy, peace, love, suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such there is no law. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For you to have peace, you have to have the Spirit of God in you. It's the Spirit that will direct you, that will encourage you. When you are in trouble, the Spirit will be there to always tell you, remember God is in control. And once you hear that voice, there's this peace that comes, that will overwhelm you. Praise the Lord. The peace of God is calmness. 
You remember when the, um, the disciples were on the boats, when the wind, the storm arose, and when God, when Jesus spoke, when Jesus spoke to them, when they called for the help of Jesus and he, he, he spoke to them, and there was calmness there, they had peace. That peace, over, that peace of God overwhelmed them. Praise the Lord. Peace is freedom from worry. Who would say they don't have any worry in this world we are living now? Even children don't have worries. There's no one that will say they don't have anything that is troubling them. No matter how you preach the Bible, there must be something. But one thing we are sure of is the peace will take us out of every, dis every distress. Praise the Lord. Peace of God sets us free from fears, anxiety, and worries. The peace of God is freedom from disturbance. The world is a disturbance this day. The whole world, in America, in Nigeria, in Ireland, even my Nigeria is the best. In Ireland, in America, everywhere, there's disturbance going on. There are things that are disturbing the people in, that, in those countries. And because we, the children of God, we have the Spirit of God, we will be here, we will see it, it will happen, but we will not partake in it, we will not be disturbed by any um, stress. We will not be disturbed by any worry. We will not be disturbed by war in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Peace is a state of tranquility. Praise the Lord. When you have peace, everything around you is peaceful. Everything around you is peaceful. Even though the, the devil raises his ugly, ugly head, but you will see, in that storm, you will still have peace. Praise the Lord. Matthew 5, 9, please. Matthew 5, 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. When everything around you is peaceful, you have the Spirit of God, you have peace, everyone around you would notice it that, oh, this man, this woman is living in peace. You cannot hide the peace of God. The peace of God is not like the peace that the world gave. The world gave peace with commandments. The world gave peace with, with, um, with promises. Like, if I give you peace, you promise to do this, you promise to do that. But God so he gives freely to us. But do we have stuff to do before we can get the peace? Yes. Like I said before, we have to have the Spirit of God in us to get the peace of God. Praise the Lord. To get, to get peace of mind, we must have the Spirit of God in us. Praise Master Jesus. And we must cultivate, we must cultivate a deep, intimate relationship with Him. Of course, you cannot have the Spirit of God without you having a relationship with God. Praise the Lord. When you have a relationship with God, spend time in His Word, allowing God to transform our hearts and mind. We will have peace. Praise the Lord. We have to have relationship with Him. That's to know Him as our Lord and our Savior. The battle one, the battle man in trouble, the one that never lies. If you know him to be all this, you will have peace. Wahala, like Africa will say, will come, but you will survive it. Wahala is worries, trouble. You will survive it. It will definitely come. No matter your degree in the in the in the ministry, temptation must surely come. But you will survive it when you have the peace of God. Praise the Lord. We must have the knowledge, the assurance, and the instructions of the promises of God for us.
God has promised us so many things. He has promised us not to worry. He has promised us to be strong. He has promised us not to fear. He has promised us not to be discouraged. If we have the knowledge of those promises and follow the instructions of God, we will definitely have peace in our, in our hearts. Praise the Lord. How can we obtain the peace of God? Another one is by prayer. When you pray persistently, you talk to God. When we pray, we talk to God. We communicate with God. And when we are communicating with God, we have that peace in us. And after prayer, if you listen, if you are still in the Spirit, you will hear God speak to you. And God does not speak war. God is not like us. He does not speak war. He speaks peace. Anytime you pray, you have peace. Prayer, we can obtain peace of God by from prayer, from praying. Praise the Lord. When we pray, we know that's our God. We have handed over everything to God. And we know that he's in control. Like, if you, take, if you go out with your children, let's say you go to the field or you go to the cinema with them, they are, they are not afraid because they know if anything happens, daddy or mommy will stand up for them. That's it, that's it with us, with God. When we speak to God, and we, we have done all that he has asked of us, we, we are sure, we have the assurance that we have the peace of mind. We have peace, peace of God in our mind. Praise the Lord. Exodus 14, verse 14. Praise Master Jesus. The Lord will fight the Lord, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. No matter the battle that comes our way, we should be sure that the Lord is fighting it. He's already fought it. It's just for us to understand that, have the knowledge, and then hold our peace. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord will always fight for us. He will always fight for us as long as we are there. We are doing his way and we are in his presence. He will always fight for us. You won't say because you have God, you go and be doing what you are not supposed to do. God cannot be more. If you need peace, just follow the instructions of God and there will be peace. Even though the world is falling, you will still have your peace. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hebrews six eighteen. So God has given us both. Okay. Hebrews six eighteen. So God has given us both his promises and codes. Those two things are unchangeable because it is impossible for God to lie. Therefore we have we have fled. Therefore we have fled to him for refuge. Can we who have fled to him for refuge can have great confidence and we hold to the hope. We hold on to the hope that lies before us. The hope of God gives peace. When you, are, when you are in trouble, when you are in distress, just call on God. Have the faith. Hope, have the hope that God is in, in, there's nothing impossible with God. God can do everything. Have the confidence that your Father owns the whole universe and there's nothing 
that is impossible for him to do. There is no door that is hard for him to open. There is no prayers that is not answered by God. No matter how you pray, you pray dozing, you pray standing, you pray shouting, all prayers there is an answer to it. If you have those things in mind, you will surely have peace. You will surely have peace. It's only the peace of God these days that will, that will keep us. Without his peace, we are nothing. Without his peace, we'll be confused, we'll be depressed, we'll have a, a BP behind, a blood pressure behind. We have different sicknesses. And God has promised that the sicknesses of the, and the diseases of the Egyptians are not for any of us. So we should have peace, so that we have, we have, we have peace in our mind. We should seek God for the peace of God, so that we have peace in our mind, so that we will not suffer any of the sicknesses and the diseases of the Egyptians. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Um, Jeremiah 29 verse 7 Sorry, before Jeremiah Can we go to John 18 verse 27 John 18 verse 27 The peace of the Lord John 18 says John 14, sorry. John 14, 27 says, Peace I live with you, my perfect peace I give to you, not as the world gives to you. Do I give, do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. Let my perfect peace calm you in every circumstances and give you courage and strength for every challenge. Even before we are born, these things were already written. It's just for us to have the knowledge of it and work with it. There's no challenges that God is God will leave us. He doesn't leave us in any challenges, in any circumstance that we are. He's there with us. He's there to give us peace. He's there to make us understand that the world is in his hand that he can do and undo. He's there to give us that confidence that we say, yes, we have a father. We have a father. We are princesses and prince. Does, does, does it mean because we have, the princesses have a prince or the, 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 the kings have the queen? No, it's because our father is the king of the old universe. Praise the Lord. Our Father is the King of the whole universe. Before anyone, anything happens to you, He already known. I used to tell my children sometimes, I would say, oh, if we pray, and maybe we are praying for a new car, and it didn't come, and maybe they want to start grumbling. I say, no, our prayer was answered. You being alive today, you don't know if God invited the new car into your protection. There's no prayer that God doesn't answer. There's no prayer. You can pray to hold a house today, and God knows that you are on that house, you are going to get that house in 10 years' time. He will use that prayer, He will convert it to another thing for you, either to provide another thing for you, or to protect you, or to preserve you. There's no prayer. Some people will say, Oh, I've been praying for long, I've been praying for long. Don't say your prayer is not answered. He's stored in the warehouse. When it's time, it will come. God will release it. You will just see prayers are the doors of heaven just opening. All your prayers that be stored there, they are coming. So manifestation. Every prayer that we have prayed, they will all come to manifestation. And it will not happen when we are gone. It will happen when we are still alive. We will partake in the joy of it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29 verse 7, please. Okay. 
Jeremiah 27, uh, 27, sorry, Jeremiah 29, verse 7. And seek the peace of the city where I have caused you to be, to be carried away captivity. Captive, sorry. And seek the peace of the city where I have caused you to be carried away captive and pray to the Lord for it. For it is peace. For in, in, in his peace, you will, you will have peace. That is simply saying, when the land, when there is a peace in the land, like I think that's in another version, where there is peace in the land, the inhabitants rejoice. The inhabitants also live in peace. So today, as we are entering into the month of, the month of September, which is the ember month. We are going to pray for our cities. We are going to pray for our country. We are going to pray for, for, for the government of our country so that God will give them his peace. The peace of God will be upon them so that they will be able to rule us in peace. If the righteous rule, yes, the people will rejoice. There's peace when the righteous rule. God will give them peace. We are going to pray today that we are using that psalm, that uh, scripture, Jeremiah 29 verse 7, we are going to use it to pray for our city. Praise the Lord. James 3 verse 18, praise the Lord. James 3 verse 18. Now the fruits of the righteous is sown in peace by those who make peace. If every one of us sow in peace, there will be peace everywhere. There will be peace everywhere. And another thing I even forgot to say, you cannot also have peace if you are not, if you are not, um, in, in, like if you are not, in good term with your with your neighbors, I just use neighbors now. Like it's not just having, it's not just have, um, having peace with God. You also have to have peace with humanity. You also have to have peace among yourselves. We also have to have peace among ourselves. Without peace, we cannot do anything. Without peace, we can our prayer cannot get to heaven. Without peace, we cannot do things that will bring blessings, that will open doors. We have to be at peace with one another. Praise the Lord. We have to make, we have to like look for peace, find peace, look for it. We shouldn't allow the things of the world to steal our peace from us. When your peace is gone, it's going to affect you anyone that is with you. It's going to affect your children, it's going to affect the way you address your colleagues at work, it's going to affect everything. When my children are leaving the house in the morning, I tell them, do not allow anyone to steal your peace. No matter what they do, stand and tell them your father owns the land. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. So we should sow peace. Anywhere we go, we should sow peace. If we have not been doing it, we are all guilty of it. There are some who just go beyond the normal thing and just do what is not right. But we should all seek peace. The world is so, 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 so faulty now that the only thing that will keep us is peace. It's, it's only peace, peace of God and the strength of God. That's the only thing that is keeping us. I don't know of others, but me, it's just the peace. That is why when trouble is coming these days, I find my way. Praise the Lord. Because I know if I engage in that trouble, it will take like two, three days before I go off it. So when it's just coming, I see the handwriting, I just pick grace. Anywhere. 
I'm not picking less because I'm not good at it, but because I don't, I just want peace. I just want peace. So we should all seek peace. That's the word for today, peace. And when there's peace, there's blessing. Blessings are coming. Doors are opening. Doors that you have not before. It begins to open. Things that you've been looking for, they start to look for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. I say, I said it to verse 17. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Isaiah 32, verse 17. The work of the righteous, the work of righteousness will be peace, and the effect of righteousness, quitting, quiet, quiet, quietness. And assure, assure, assurance forever. That's quietness and assurance forever. Um, the righteousness bring peace. Yes, it is bring quietness. Yeah. When when we have peace, praise the Lord. When we do the, the work of righteousness, when you walk in the right way, when you walk in the will of God, there will be peace. You will have peace. Everything around you will be peaceful. The effects, that's the benefits, will be quietness, calm, tranquility, and peace again. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. So the topic is the, the, the overall this thing is that we should have peace. We should. It's difficult because it's as if the devil know when you say you don't have peace. That's when he will be pushing people that will provoke you your way. But in all, let's still find peace. Praise the Lord. Amen. In all, we still find peace. Second Corinthians thirteen verse eleven. And for our students that um, did their living said that uh, their results are out, congratulations to all of you. And um, I'll just put it to you as you are going to school, just make sure you have peace. Wherever you go, anyone you meet in school, just create a peaceful atmosphere for yourself because that's the only way you can study and come out with colorful results. Praise the Lord. Don't go there to make trouble. Don't go there to tell them because you are a child of God, you can do and not do. It will not happen. God will not take, God will not, God will not back you up when you are doing the wrong thing. So as you are going to school, just make sure you put the presence of God before you. And when the presence of God is with you, you will always have peace in Jesus' name. 2 Corinthians 13, verse 11. He said, finally, brothers, farewell, become complete. Be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. That's for all of us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we please go back to Jeremiah 29, verse 7. Jeremiah 29, verse 7. Can we understand the Let's pray for our country. Let's pray for the peace of God in the whole world. We need the peace of God. In America, in Australia, in all the Euro country, in in America, in the UK, in Nigeria, Africa countries, 
let's just pray. Any country that comes to your mind, just pray that God should put peace in, the, in that country. That God should give the, the government, the ministers, all the people in charge of that country, that God should give them peace so that they will be able to rule in peace. Rule the citizens in peace in the mighty name of Jesus. The former king of glory of the potential in the present. I use Ireland as a point of contact to all the Euro countries. I use Nigeria, my country, as a point of contact to every of the Africa countries of love. Father, I ask for mercy to love. I pray that you forgive us our shortcomings, forgive us all our need to be to love, and give us peace to love. We need, we need your peace to love. We need your peace to love. In every country in the world, we love us. We need your peace to love. We ask for your peace. We know, O oh Lord, that our iniquity is over, over, overweighing the, the peace, O oh Lord. It's what is this depriving us from our peace. Father, we say, Lord, forgive us our sins, O oh Lord. Forgive us our shortcomings. Wash our iniquity, O oh Lord. And, 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 and give us peace, O oh Lord. Have mercy, O oh Lord. Have mercy, O oh Lord. Have mercy on our nation, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask for your peace, O oh Lord. We ask for your peace, O oh Lord. Peace, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, O oh Lord, that you give the governor, O oh Lord, the president, O oh Lord, the minister, the teacher, O oh Lord. We ask for you for peace, for your peace, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, for you said in your word, O oh Lord, when there is peace in this nation, when there is peace in the nation, they now be thankful with joy. We want to live and enjoy this country, O oh Lord. We want to live and rejoice in this country, O oh Lord. We ask for your peace, 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 O oh Lord. Oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are going to pray for our children. That God should empower our children with his peace. His peace and his knowledge in every storm that they are going through. Do we think it's everything our children are going through that it says us? No. No, 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 no. They even tell themselves things that they, can, that they don't even want to tell us. Not because they are hiding things from us. They just don't want to tell us because they don't want to. They don't want our peace to be tampered with. They don't want us to be afraid. There are things going on in their lives. And God, the owner of their own universe, the one that sees the secret heart of every man, God will, will you call on God on their behalf today that God will give them peace. God will give them peace in every of their challenges, in every, in every of their storm, storm of life that they are going through, that they are experiencing now. I, we should call upon the name of the Lord to give them peace. Praise the Lord. Father, I commit my children before you, O Lord. I thank you for how far you have brought them. I thank you, O Lord, for all the great and mighty things you have done in their life. I use my children, O Lord, as a point of contact to all the children in the world, O Lord. Father, I ask, O Lord, that they are going to ask that you give them peace, O Lord. In whatever storm they are going through now, O Lord. Father, give them peace of mind, O Lord. Give them peace, 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 O Lord. In every storm that they are facing now, O Lord. Every storm that they are experiencing now, O Lord. Father, I ask for your peace, O Lord. I ask for your peace, O Lord. So, give them peace of mind, O Lord. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you see know their hearts, O Lord. You know what they want, O Lord. They are from the of glory. Give them peace, O Lord. Give them peace, O Lord. Let them know that they are in the living God, O Lord. Mercy one in battle. Do not let them depart from you, O Lord. Do not let them depart from you. 
from you, good Lord. No circumstance, no failure, no challenges will make them to depart from your way, good Lord. Father, we ask for your peace. All round peace, good Lord. Physically, spiritually, maritally, financially, emotionally, good Lord. Psychologically, in their career, in their school, everything about them, good Lord. Father, we ask for your peace, good Lord. We ask for your peace for them, good Lord. We ask for your peace for them, good Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we can pray. We are going to bring those that are sick before God. If God's healing, then we are going to ask for the healing and mercy of the Almighty upon them. The healing will bring peace to them in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to ask whatever it is that they are going through, because the Bible has made us to know that nothing is impossible with God. It's just for us to say it to his ear. It's for us to bring it before him. We are going to bring those that are sick at this hour before God. That the healing and mercy of Elohim will fall on them, heal them, and the peace of the Lord will be with them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we will commit all those that are sick before, before you. We will bring them before you today, O Lord. We say thank you for them being alive today, O Lord. It's a miracle. Father, we will hold up. We will bring them before you, O Lord. We will deliver they have in their homes, in their hospitals, anywhere they have, O Lord. Jehovah King of Glory, we ask for your healing, O Lord. We ask for your healing. 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 We ask for your healing, O Lord. And join them, O Lord. Let your healing and mercy fall on them, O Lord. And let your peace be upon them. Let your peace be upon them, O Lord. Let your peace be upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus. Us, wonderful name we have prayed. We are going to pray for peace on ourselves. That God will empower us with his peace. God will uplift us wherever we go. The peace of God will be upon us. That peace that man cannot give, which God should give it to us. In every of our businesses, our careers, our job, everything that we are doing, we bring them before God. We ask that God will bless us with his peace. Peace forevermore in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that is not of peace will not come near us in the mighty name of Jesus. Our going out will be peaceful. Our coming in will be peaceful. In this new week we are entering, the peace of God will open new doors for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever we go, they will see the, the, the hand of God upon us. They will see the peace of God on us in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that we've been looking for, everything that we've been praying for, we will see the manifestation this week in the mighty name of Jesus. The month of September will be a month of, 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 of glory, a glorified month for us in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. We cover all our journeys in the remaining year in the hands of the Lord. The peace of God will perfect everything in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah.